this time campaign sama is here we are jumping straight into chapter 34 34 34 last time i did 33 it was a good time and a half but now it's time for the shenanigans we have a brand new map a brand new map shiny stuff Yatta! Uh, we got a bit of money out of here. Any more shiny stuff? There's a shiny stuff on the other side here. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go toward the story, my friends. There's a shiny stuff here. Alright, we got a music from Folktale. Ah, more! I love Red Hood. She's so cool, dude. Uh, yes, dude. Alright, let's see here. I actually don't know if I can auto it. I wouldn't, I don't want to risk it. I just play it manually, which is that cool. Woohoo! Get up! Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Easy clear, baby. Yada! Yada, yada, yada. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Oh! She's so cute, I love her. Litter is adorable. Litter is adorable. You understand the Japanese? Ah, not really. Encounter. A few words. A few bits and bobs. Bits and bobs and bits and bobs and bits and bobs and bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Bit 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 bits and bobs. Alright, let's see here. Get up! Where's the boss? Am I missing one guy? Is there someone hiding somewhere here? Oh, it was hiding behind the pillar. Jesus Christ. Alright, good stuff. The good good, as they say. Alright. Lovely. It's time for the story stuff. Ooh, that's what I'm excited for. Alright, let's see. Ah! Let the hood off! Oh, damn, yes, yeah, they're suffering. Splat, splat. Black slime falls off of Behemoth's body in globules. Ugh, they really messed me up. Ugh. Leviathan emerges from the black puddle on the ground. You okay, Levi? Yes, I got hit pretty hard. But I'll leave. How about you? The dark matter has weakened considerably. It hasn't recovered from that vapor oz. It needs time to rejuvenate. rejuvenate. I really hope we don't kill them. I actually really like them. We don't have time for that, and we don't have any spare dark matter lying around either. I know that. I was just venting. What happened to Anachiro and Grave? I managed to separate them from the commander. There wasn't much else we could do. And it at least, and it at least buy us some time. Ah, if we have to fight them again, do we stand a chance? As long as we have Ziz and Bahamut, we can win. They're busy. And I'm not. I've got plenty on my plate, but I still came to help you, didn't I? I told you we should have just capture Anachiro instead of wasting our time talking to the enemies. Come on, lighten up. It's not like we didn't gain anything from that conversation. What did we gain? We still got our asses handed to us. We now know the offspring's weakness. It may be our actual heal as well, but we at least confirmed that Vapaos really exist. We also figured out that we're strong. That's true. We didn't exa extract all that much from those humans' imposters' nymph. But we did at least confirm they went up against the offsprings. They seem to feel that the offsprings are comparable in strength to us. 
with the Nachiro being a notable exception. Exactly. We still got a dog in this fight. I'm just saying that we didn't come out of this empty-handed, that's all. You're right, we did gain some valuable information. So, what are you going to do now? Hmm... There, three of their pesky friends just rejoined them. They came loaded for bear. I can tell you that much. Even though we managed to separate Anachiro and Grey from the group, they're probably no worse off in terms of fighting capabilities. If anything, the strength has probably increased. Should we run away? We've nearly accomplished what we set out to do here. The imitation arc is nearly finished. All that's left is a fresh coat of paint. We don't need the harmony cube anymore, so we don't need to siphon as much electricity as before. We can draw it from anywhere. There's no reason for us to be holding on to this place anymore. You're right. Those bothersome flies will just keep coming fr for us. Even if we squash this bunch, they'll just send more. Rinse and repeat. Until they finally wear us down. That's true. There's no point in us wasting our time with this place anymore. So what, do we run? That's what we do best. A tactical retreat, then hide and lie in wait. We've done it plenty of time before, so I don't see the harm in doing it again. No. I don't want to. Famous last words. I don't want to. All we've done is run and hide. I can't stand it. What? Where is all this coming from? Hey, Rinya. I have my pride. I'm embarrassed. Pride is what gets you killed, dude. Please, just walk away. I don't want to kill you. I know, me too. If we run away now, the figure we're a bunch of cowards. We're not cowards, are we? No, we're not. Fine, let's get back at them. No half measures, we go all out. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's make them rude the day they ever mess with us. I'm worried! But Kitty, pride also gets you a hot rich wife, at least if you're Vegeta. Sure, are they actually together? I feel like they're barely together. It just got you laid. Let's make them rude today, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's like I say, conversation is the cornerstone of evolution. Hmm, alright. I'm worried about them. I, I really like the those two of the four four beasts. So far I really like them. I think they're cute. And I feel bad about them. Cause like to be fair, like I feel like they haven't really tried to kill us at this at this point. Like not really. Even like the, not chapter 33, but like the entire part. That we like the entire behemoth part before Leviathan actually joined her. Like, she never really tried to kill us properly. Not fully. Like, she was more interested in like having fun and talking. They have two kids and he sticks around more often than Goku with Chi Chi. Um, yeah, but also Goku is mostly dead. L listen, I'm not gonna have a conversation about who is the best parent. You know, I, 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 I just don't care enough. And I've only watched, well, I've only read the, the, the base manga. Uh, but you can certainly talk about it because you, you two probably know more than I do. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say like who's a good dad or who isn't a good dad. I was just making a joke. It's, it's all good. I figured you all would be fast, but I didn't expect you to arrive that quickly. We've long had a tactical upgrade procedure in place. It was simple a matter of enacting it. Did you swap out your bodies? Yeah, and received some new equipment as well. 
And why didn't get a new weapon though? She just added a nifty scope to the one she has. She also made adjustments so that she could use special ammunition. Like that round which exploded after entering Behemoth's body. So you noticed. Since her exterior is next to impervious, the answer lies in destroying her from the inside. By sacrificing a bit of stopping power in exchange for maximum penetration, you get a round that lodges itself inside the target's body. Once it's firmly implanted inside, it detonates. It was even more effective than I anticipated. It could definitely come in handy later. Any other upgrades you all got? I've also got a cloak outfitted with camouflage capabilities. Like stealth camouflage? Exactly. In a place like this, where you're out in the elements, it allows you to blend in effortlessly with your surroundings. I see you've decided to fight dirty as well. You moron, there's no such thing as fighting dirty in war. Only the losing side would say something so foolish. It stands to reason that the side which is most prepared will win. Fair point. Festy, you seem to have a whole bunch of accessories now. Oh, yeah. I can carry more missiles now. I can also launch more of them at one time. This equipment I've got on my body also acts like a shield. It affects my mobility a bit, but I don't do much moving around anyway. Even in the event I were to self-destruct, any damage I sustained wouldn't be fatal. Wah! You've turned into a walking fortress! My title of having the mightiest firepower might be in peril! Don't worry, the title of having the most uh, panty shown is definitely your win. When the world were you given that title? Something about you seemed different, Emma. Did your boobs get bigger? <laughs> you think so? This is a unique outfit, this part here, the shiny bits. It contains a special liquid. Wanna touch it? It feels really good, nice and moist. Which shiny bitch is she talking about? What liquid? Milk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should, but then again... I don't think that's necessary. Why are you even entertaining that idea, Commander? Get a hold of yourself! I can store liquid in my outfit. And whenever I need to, I can spray whatever is inside to produce, to, to produce the intended effect. I can swap out different liquids depending on the nature of the operation, so it's highly versatile. Why don't you just spray some pheromones and be done with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Oh my goodness. The way the crystals crumbled apart earlier was that you, Emma, and your special liquid. <laughs> That's right. I sprayed a concentrate of alpha particles. I thought alpha particles were only meant to disrupt communications. More or less, yes. The primary function of Alpha Particle is that they block electrical signals. That's why Nuke is becoming capacitated and the concentration is too high. Since these crystal feed on electricity, cutting off the power supply is key. It took some time to find the optimal value that would cut off the crystal's energy supply, while leaving Nuke is unaffected. Damn. I'd say it was time well spent, though. Does that mean we're not immune to Behemoth's crystal attacks? <laughs> Pretty much. So long as I'm around, that is. I see you all came well prepared. When you're hunting big game, you've got to be properly equipped. In terms of brute strength, Behemoth may be the most powerful of all the heretics we've encountered so far. We can't come waltzing into an encounter with our unprepared. However, now it seems a new heretic is in the mix as well. Based on the combat data you provided, Leviathan's abilities are more difficult for us to counter. Unwas regards us seriously. Hmm? Hey Blade, thank you for the lurk. On top of that, we're separated from Cinderella and Grave. This isn't good. Hey, what are we, chopped liver? Hmm. If the last engagement is an indication, your contribution was practically non-existent. <laughs> you get some new gear and suddenly you think you're all that and bag of chips? We're plenty good at fighting too. I'm at least two bags of chips. You were, Rappy. Yes? Whoa, are you talking to her again? Guess so. 
I don't know what's got into you, but you need to straighten up. You're charging recklessly, but then you chickened out of a direct confrontation when it mattered most. What is it that you're trying to accomplish here? You want all the credit? Is that it? Pathetic. The counters are worthless without a central figure to hold them together. This squad used to be strong because Rappi compensated for the shortcomings of the loudmouth and the firepower fanatic. Now instead of picking up the slack, Rappi is only making the situation worse. Let me spell this out for you dummies. Your top priority should be to reunite with Cinderella and Grave. For the time being, combat should be avoided at all costs. What do you think? Objections, let's move. Roger. Uh, I'm sorry everyone. I think it was a point. This combat data is a complete mess. You've got to sort yourself out, Rappi. You too, Commander. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Assuming the lead, the members of Absolute move forward. Rappi, can we talk? Sure. Are we going to talk about the fact that she loves us? The fact that she want to kiss her lips? Alright, let's go! Freak him up, freak him up! Oh man, I need to buy groceries. Ah, life is too hard! Ah, buying food is pain! I'll do that later. But I need to do it before there's no more available slot for tomorrow. Because I get I get my groceries delivered. Is now I'm gonna go outside? <laughs> Come on. Come on! If I wanted to go outside, you think I'd be streaming on Twitch with a VTuber model? Get real! Yatta! We did it! Uh, did I open? What is this? Alright! We. I hate hearing myself, dude. Holy crap, Eroni! Alright, let's see here. Um. Uh, another fight. Bum, 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 bum. Another one bites dust. Another one bites. Another one bites. Another one bites dust. Sensei. Let's go. Pew, 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 pew. Did you do the web event from today? I did not do the ve the web event yet, no. For Nikkei or something else? Ow. She that almost one shot my 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 girl. <laughs> Nikki music web event that gives ticket. Oh I haven't done it yet, no. Dark matter is liquid metal. It is both hard and soft all at once, possessing the viscosity of a liquid, yet the durability of a metal. Yes! More story time! My favorite! Tanjano! Oh, I hate those orbs. They suck. No, stop. Stop. Stop flying about. Yo, they deal so much damage. It's bananas. They're actually killing me. We lost leader. I might have to restart this. We'll see. Please don't kill me. Okay, just focus the boss, focus the boss. There it is. Easy peasy lemon cool easy. Easy peasy lemon cool easy. Oh, received an email. Checking it out, checking it out, checking, checking, checking it out. Okay, what's wrong? Why are you so over eager all of a sudden? 
I'm not over eager. Uh, yes, you are. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and even I can tell something's going on. And I put an L on my forehead. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not an apology we're after. We want to know if you're okay. I'm fine. Rappy. Ah, you're really getting on my nerves. What's the matter with you? What's the problem? There's no problem. If my inadequacy is in battle or an issue, then I'll do everything I can to rectify that. That's not what we're saying. Then what? You've got no intentions of telling us anything, do you? I've said enough. If I do better in battle, there won't be any issues. At first, I thought Yunwa was being too harsh and loading on you like that. But now I understand why she was so frustrated. What? You never talk about how you're feeling or make it known what you want. What makes you treat people like that? Do you think you're above us? Are we here to serve you? Are we mind readers? You need to tell us what you're feeling or what you're struggling with so that we can act accordingly. I can take care of this myself. Hey! Be honest! Do you even consider us comrades in arms? Of course. Having you all by my side is more than I deserve. Then why aren't you being open with us? Because it's my problem. This is something I have to figure out on my own. Do you think it's possible to die from frustration? Because I think I'm getting close. <laughs> is it losing to Behemoth that got you so upset? I'm angry that I was bested, yes. And in trying to make up for it, you're pushing yourself over the edge. I'm not overextending myself, I simply push myself. If that's inconvenience you anyone in, way, in any way, then I apologize. You absolutely push yourself too far. You're acting completely out of character. I hardly even recognize you. And what kind of person am I? Go on, answer me. Oh, sh oh sh shit. When you look at me, what do you see? Rappy. There's none of the old Rappy left, is there? Nothing left? What do you mean? Hmm? You said you wanted to succeed Red Hood, didn't you? But you also said that you gave up. That's why there's nothing left. Yes, you're right. Rappy! Tell us, tell us what you're feeling, what you're thinking. We're friends. Yeah! Even if we don't end up being super helpful, you should still tell us. At the very least, you could confide in us and we can sympathize. Would that change anything? At the very least, we wouldn't get any wrong ideas about what's going on in your head. Tell me. I trust you're not the kind of fool who would make the same mistake twice. And while who had moved closer moves away again. Holy crap! I guess it's a one way to use stealth camo. Rappi, as a commander and comrade, I'm asking you to tell us what's going on. Same here. Me too. Very well. Oh! Oh, crap! It's happening! In the next episode, there's a story. Alright, we can open this up, which also means uh, we can go down there. But there's a little bit shiny. Guess it's all. Music! Ooh. Oh, I love this. Clash scenario version. Ooh, that's a music that's that that has to go on the playlist. That's clearly a music for videos. <laughs> ah more. Alright, let's see here. Hi you. Alright, let's see here. They keep sliding on my screen. What you doing? Huge! 
We're getting there. Absolutely winning. You got this. All right. Um, oh, there's a shiny beeps and bobs right there. Ah, Pit is so cute right now. All right, let's go. Whee! Oh. Okay, we got them. No, there's still one alive. Please stop hurting me. I absolutely hate those new rapture balls. Rapture balls, rapture balls. They are absolutely the worst. Rapture balls, rapture balls. Alright, good stuff. And there it is. Alright, more story time. Yata! All right, there we go. Nah, more. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? Shoot it, yeah. We go bop bop. Ba pi da pi da pa da pu pa pi da pi da pa da pu pa da pa pa. Ra da 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 da. All right, there it is. The good good is coming. It's exactly as the commander said. There's nothing like for me. No, I never had anything to begin with. It's more accurate to say things haven't changed. I never had a purpose. No goal. No mission. No dreams. Nothing. Then by sheer luck. I met a hero called Red Hood. I wanted to become like her. I saw how her life came to an end. I believed it was my duty to carry on her legacy. I thought it was something like destiny. But it wasn't. I couldn't become Red Hood. I was just a pale imitation. I had none of her skills. And I certainly had no virtuous mission. It didn't take long for it to dawn on me. I was simply imitating her. So I gave up everything. I never had been capable of assuming the mantle. For me, a nobody, to take the place of a hero who has everything, made no sense. I realized that an ideal was an ideal precisely because it was so far out of reach. I gave up on the notion of succeeding Red Hood. There was nothing left for me. I didn't know what to leave for anymore. In my aimless wandering that followed, I met a commander. Those piercing eyes, that determined gait, you were, you were remarkable. I thought if I aligned myself with you, if I saw the same things you did and walked the same path as you, maybe, just maybe, something would fill the emptiness within me. Something. Anything. I felt an overriding desire to protect you, because you shone a light into the darkness. Like a ray of hope sent to me when I was about to give up everything. I had to protect you with all my might. And the only strength I had left was from Red Hood. It was my selfishness, my inability to let go, which caused her to fade away entirely. So using that strength she had given me was the least I could do. So I had to be strong. There was nothing left for me except to fight. I had to keep winning. I couldn't afford to lose. But I did lose. I was defeated by Behemoth. So what is there left for me now? Fighting is all that I had. And if I can't even do that properly, then I truly won't have anything left. So I have to prove myself. Whether it's Behemoth or Leviathan, I have to take them down on my own. That way, that way, I would at least have something left, and I could still become something. I would be worthy of walking beside you, Commander. Even if not strong, we can always walk together. I knew you would say that. I knew you'd encourage me, say that I'd get stronger. That there would be chances in the future. 
But because of grave in Cinderella, I started to feel anxious. What does two have to do with anything? During all that time, Grave never gave up. She kept on going, focused on a single purpose. To achieve her goal, she never gave up and kept moving forward. And she achieved it, unlike me. Do you feel inferior? Yes. Why wasn't I able to do what she did? There was nothing about my situation which was any worse than Grave. Be it physically or mental. Physical. Yet I gave up and she kept going. And the result is what you see now. I just... I couldn't stand to see how pathetic I'd, been, I'd become. Chasing after a dream that was never meant for me in the first place. Hurting people who matter to me, all just to give up in the end. Seeing someone else in similar circumstances go on to succeed filled me with jealousy. This sense of panic came over me. I had to try and catch up. I'm so pathetic. I'm sorry for causing you trouble, Commander. I'll take a back seat from now on. Absolute, grave, and Cinderella can take over. I'll provide secondary support. No. You can take down Behemoth. You will take down Behemoth. But I... Anis? Neon? Mm, yeah? Yes, Master! Let's give Rappi a helping hand. Of course! Okay, but what if I accidentally take down Behemoth myself? No, please. I don't want to cause any more trouble. You saw it yourself. I can't win against her. Are you giving up again? You want to win, don't you? It's totally obvious. Yes, I want to win. Alright then. We'll help you do that. You haven't decided on what you want to do with your life yet. In order to come to a decision, you can't lose. So we'll make sure that you win. Yeah, for sure. It's okay for, to feel regret. It's okay to feel envious of others. It's what makes you you. Commander. You asked me what I saw when I looked at you. I see someone who is desperately trying to grab a hold of her threats only now starting to emerge. So let's grab onto it. I'm looking forward to seeing the rapid that will be waiting for us on the other side of all this. Thank you. All of you. Come to think of it, is this the first time we've had a serious talk like this? Yeah, usually we're just engaging in goofy banter. I'd say you're responsible for most of that banter. But then again, so much has been happening around us that we've all got caught up in it and stopped caring about what was going on in our heads. It's funny, if we've been through countless life and death situations together, and this is the very first time we've really spoken openly with each other. Then how about we have a serious conversation once a day? Nah, it doesn't work if you try and force it. No, wait, that's not it. Hmm? I don't have any thoughts in my head, so I've got nothing to say. Oh my god, literally. <laughs> no thoughts, only soda. Hmm, nope, not a single one. The lights are on, but no one's home. Jesus. Um, that was dark. Are you okay there? I guess this is the start of another serious conversation, huh? Alright, another music, let's go. That was certainly something. Another lost relic. Guess it's so. Ah, where to use it? The most optimal method is to apply it directly to your body. The ideal approach would be to wield it as if holding water, but not everyone is capable of that. Only someone as brilliant as I, a true heretic, can use it in such a fashion. Thusly, I recommend you simply wear it on your body. Just be sure to notify me before it accumulates too much wear and tear. Okay. Itoshimasu. Wait, where am I supposed to go from here? I can't cross here. Oh, there's a path there. I didn't realize I could go inside this. <clears throat> Alright. Encounter. Sensei! Let's go! Pew, 
pew, pew, pew, pew, pew, pew, pew. All righty then. Oh, we actually have more than three fight before um, another beat of story. That's cool. That's cool. But I want more story now. Give it to me. Yatta! Um, have they adjusted the... Have they fixed the Cinderella bug yet? I hate this new mob. I'll need to check, because I don't know if they did. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, now she's still bugged, I believe. Hi, Loni, what's up? Willkommen to the stream. How you doing? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I'm good, how are ya? I'm great, thank you for asking. I am great, I rested well, I watched a, I watched a bunch of anime, which made me happy. You spent all your money on Cinderella? I spent over... I spent over 200 pulls on the Cinderella banner and I didn't get a single copy of her. So I feel you. Life is hard. Um. Hey, watch out, watch out. Sorry, I had a, a pen in my mouth because I'm restless and I play with things with my hands or put things in my mouth. We're making great progress here. I feel like if this if the difficulty stays around the same, we should be able to clear the entire chapter, which would be awesome. I'd be completely caught up with Nikkei in terms of the main campaign, which is great. Oh, over there. There's another one yet. Where is it? Oh, over there. But sometimes they just be hiding in the worst spot. It's so hard to see them. Yatta! 
I'm looking forward to more treasures. We should be getting some soon, right? I'm pretty sure. Also, for unrelated to Nikkei, but for Zulane, they just announced that the banner is going to be ending soon. So I think we can expect some news regarding upcoming updates relatively soon. Uh, we should have some quote unquote dead week until the collab. But they might announce like a rerun, like a small rerun or something. I mean, I hope so. There's no way we're getting like two dead week, right? And I don't think the collab is going to be next week. It's probably in two weeks. Hmm. Part two of Nikki is going to be in two days, I think. I think so, yeah. I'm very excited about it. I'll do it in three days again. Very, very good. Da, da, da. I, I can't wait to, to see the rest of all tales. It's been great so far. The Viton poses serious threat. The black goo she manipulates is most likely some kind of liquid metal. It's the only thing that would explain its density and durability. When connected with other pools, it can be used as a passageway. It can be compressed into a sphere to subdue the enemy. It can also be molded into a tidal wave like formation. Needless to say, it's a highly versatile weapon. All purpose, almost. But according to the combat data, it wasn't used for many actual attacks. It uses his own mass to physically strike, but it doesn't appear to have any other lethal capabilities. Its speed is also on the slow side, so there is a limit to its lethality. Right, therefore the key is to figure out how much of that black liquid there is. It was spread throughout the area, considering how much Leviathan has moved around. There must be a significant amount of it underground. If only I could figure out its composition, I might be able to eradicate it. So frustrating. It's unfortunate, but we came here to take down Behemoth. Exactly. There have been a lot of unexpected developments. So we shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. We we'll continue to focus on eliminating Behemoth. So, what do we do about Leviathan? We'll have to leave that to Cinderella and Grave. For now, it's our only option. Hello? Are we invisible or something? Hey, Wintermelons, what's up? You all will act as support, stick close and provide assistance when we request it. Don't chase after glory headlessly like fools. <sighs> and what tosses Rapier USB? That contains a tactical upgrade OS prepared by Ingrid. Take a look. If you like what you see, you could put in a request for some modifications. Customize modifications? Correct. When we first planned this series of upgrades, we included you as well. Not sure what you'd like. you'll think of it, though. Hmm. <laughs> Also, I don't want to hear anything from you about us not going far enough. You worry about yourself. If there's anyone here who stopped short, it was you when you chose to leave. Right, thanks. Picking up anything from Cinderella or Grave? Yeah, both of them up ahead. What did they look like that? They got an upgrade. They got an OS and physical upgrade. Um, yeah. I set up tr tracking device to detect the signals ahead of time. Nicely done. Can you use that to detect the heretics? Forget tracking. This device doesn't even recognize Behemoth or Leviathan. Should have said something similar earlier. It's highly likely that they possess stealth capabilities of their own. It could be another function of the dark matter they coded in. If they're trying to hide, could it be that they are afraid? Huh? What do you mean? I explained the dynamics between the four beasts and the other heretics. They look so different. Yeah, I think they look fantastic with this new upgrade. Especially Unwa. I feel like Vessi is pretty similar to her base form, but I do like the... She she does look cooler with the... The new weapon is pretty cool. Uh, but I think Unwa and uh, Emma looks fantastic. So they are different faction among the heretics. And the four beasts have an inferiority complex when being stacked up against the offsprings, as they call them. This is huge. Just like my melons. Just like her Look at that! Water, winter melons, Emma. Yo! It's all connected. This is huge. If we play our cards right, we can encourage some infighting between them. Of course. That's only if they're interested in talking with us. I don't like the idea very much. 
I'd rather kill them outright and be done with it. Agreed. There's no point in conversing with monsters. We're nearly there. Something's a little weird, though. They've barely moved from their previous positions a while back. Could they be injured? I highly doubt that. True. Let's move quickly. Splash. For a moment, we can hear the sound of water splashing. I don't myself that I took some note from the specs of Tetronic Gears for the upgrades. Fair enough. It stops, but a few moments later... Splash! We can hear it again. What is that? Uh, guys? Am I imagining things? No, I see too. We all do. What is this? Ahead of us, Central is standing. Next to her, Grave is pouring a bucket of water over... They're not moving because she was taking a bath. she was. <laughs> Graham is pouring a bucket of water over her. It's almost all washed up, washed away. All right, just a little more, please. Splash. Is she taking a shower? Seems like it. Splash. Cinderella is washing the black liquid off of her body. Grave, like a faithful attendant, pours water at regular intervals on certain spots of Cinderella's body. Prince, is that you? Wait a moment. I got all soiled, so let me wash up quickly and join you in a second. In the meantime, don't come near. I don't want you seeing me so filthy. <sighs> what a bunch of weirdos. Yep. To be fair, oftentimes, 10 minutes more? Oftentimes, Unwa gets mad for the smallest reason, but this one, I feel like she she's right to be mad. <laughs> So refreshing. Would you like me to do the same for you, Grave? I'm fine. Are you sure? You being beautiful is enough. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Would any of you like to clean up? There is no more water. I see some right be I see some right beside you. That's not for you, that's for Cinderella to use. If you want to shower, fetch some water yourself. There's a water tank over there. Psh! You're just a glorified sure faucet. Damn. Does anyone have a hair dryer? Why in the world would any of us have? I have one. Just a moment. I knew I could count on you, Grave. I can't believe this. Did she? Did she get a a body modification to have a hair dryer? Maybe she has. <laughs> maybe she had like a trap door on her body, and she just has a hair dryer inside. <laughs> Enough. We're in the middle of a mission. This is no time for r, &R. This isn't r, r This is something that must be done. Cinderella saunters over and stands before the member of Absolute. Wow, you look great. Yeah, so pretty. I presume you're the Absolute Squad. Great told me all about you. It's because of you that I was able to awaken. You have my thanks. Especially the little one over there. M me? She has a beauty care kit built into her casket. She better have. You never lost the will to fight, even when your body was on the verge of breaking down. Very beautiful. <laughs> it was nothing. You mustn't be so modest. You must have more confidence. You were amazing. Uh, uh, okay. And you, the one with the nice fragrance. Are you talking about me? You have a potent fragrance, but it puts me at ease. Could you tell me what scent it is that you're wearing? Oh my, sure. I didn't buy it, I mixed it myself. Well, wait, Emma also makes her own perfume, like Haran? Yo, Emma and Haran when? Would you like to know the recipe? I would love to. <laughs> I never thought I'd meet someone who I could talk about too about perfumes. And you, the one with the intense gaze. I hear you're the leader. Brilliant. Despite not wearing any advanced equipment, you demonstrated superlative combat skills and teamwork. Instead of relying on your superior physical specifications, you devoted yourself entirely to employing human fighting tactics. Such an unshakable belief in yourself. Such wondrous beauty. 
You've got a good eye. <laughs> Man, Cinderella just won them over in like the split of a second, dude. She's good. She's good. Jeez, everyone is like putty in her hands. She certainly has a way of ingratiating herself with people. Well, now that we're all in one spot, what is the plan, Prince? We're going to hunt down Behemoth and Leviathan. How do you intend to go about that? Rappi, you explain. Okay. Behemoth far surpasses Earth in terms of physical capabilities. Fighting her head-on would be unadvisable, save perhaps for Cinderella. However, Absolute has undergone a series of upgrades in preparation for a fight against her. As for Leviathan, her physical strength is weak in comparison. The fact that she evaded all gunfire by stepping to the paddle is a sign of that. However, the black liquid of hers is highly unpredictable and we can't accurately estimate the extent of its power. Hey Draken, what's up? How you doing? Having said that, it's something that Cinderella shouldn't be able to overcome. In other words, Cinderella will focus on either Behemoth and Leviathan, and the Countess and Absolute will deal with the remaining heretic. Ideally, Cinderella would be taking on Leviathan. Wait, there is a flaw in that plan. She doesn't want to get dirty. Is that, the, is that a flaw? The simplest solution to this problem is my taking them both out in one fell swoop. Never mind, she just wants to kill them both. They won't let it happen. They experience your power firsthand, so they won't attack you both at once. Are you saying that they are scared? Heretics? Scared? I find it hard to believe. These are the four beasts we're talking about. Running scared and hiding has been their MO this entire time. Fair enough. The four beasts will likely try to separate us from Cinderella, elevate us that way. They'll then team up and focus the full brunt of their attack on Cinderella. That's unfortunate, Draken, I'm sorry to hear. Of course, it's highly dubious that we'll go about this in a straightforward manner. So you're saying there's a high possibility that they'll resort to some underhanded trickery? You say trickery, I say strategy. Right, strategy. Oh, you're agreeing with me. Seems like I've finally gotten through that thick skull of yours. If I didn't agree, you'd never shut up. <laughs> Grave, my queen! Oh, wow. I wonder if she went through a mind switch because she really changed... Like, she's very similar to Abe. She's very similar to her past self, but she's also very different to her past self. That's even why it is, yeah. Cinderella Charming Absolute is how you catch most people's heart. Recognize something about themselves they care about and tell them you see it and appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's the new Absolute squad. So I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's Unwa. That's the new Vesti. Wow, Unwa's shaking it all over. So what we need to do is split them up before they do the same to us. All right, Leviathan is mine. I'll leave Behemoth to you guys. Consider the gift, Rappi. Give it your all. Let your spirit soar. I will. Thanks. Wait, there's still one more thing we haven't covered. Uh, Unwa has never been super flat. It's just by comparison to all the other Nikes who have massive abuba. Yeah, she seems a bit flat. But she's not. Like, uh, she has... She has the same breast size as, as I do. Basically. They can still transform as a last resort. I don't believe the four beasts are capable of that. What makes you so sure? If they could, they would have done it already. They were at death's door growing up against Cinderella, but they didn't transform. It's as if transforma transforming would hurt them in any way. At least it didn't when Nihilister did it. You're right, it was the same within Devilia. If it's such a critical skill, the reason why they haven't played that card yet is obvious to me. They're incapable of it. A reasonable assumption. Perhaps this may have something to do with how they're not highly regarded by the other heretics. Hold on! Does that mean Cinderella can transform? I can, although I've never tried. Why not? Why do you think? Because it wouldn't be beautiful. Correct. Alright, assuming that the pro- That's actually crazy considering that when she was fighting against the goddess squad, 
she didn't transform. She was like, no, nah, I don't want I'd rather die than, than be non beautiful. Hey, Cravio, what's up? Although, to be fair, she did kind of like trick herself into wanting to kill the Goddess Squad to be stopped by them. So maybe she actually stopped herself from transforming to be weaker in combat. All right, assuming that the probability of the four beasts transforming is low, the only issue then is how do we find them? We have no way of tracking down those two. Maybe we wait for them to come to us. No, we can't let them make the first move without us form first formulating a counterattack. If I'm here, won't they steer clear of us? That's a good point. They do seem rather wary of, us, of you. They're probably thinking that if they can take you out, they'll be able to win. That's true. If I were to fall, all hope will be lost, as I am the strongest amongst us. I agree. Therefore, we can't sit back and wait for them to take you out. How rare are effectively the pilgrim units in the game or in lore? We need to track them down by any means necessary and make the first move. Farewell, I'll conduct some aerial reconnaissance. Uh, in the game, a uh, pretty rare. Um, I think it's probably the faction with the least amount of units, but every unit, most, okay, most new pilgrims are incredibly powerful. So, generally speaking, when they are come out, you should save for them and you should pull for them. Would be uh, my opinion. I don't think it's a good idea. You're up in the air, exposed and alone. That could be just the opportunity they're waiting for. Hmm, this is most frustrating. What about the furthest place possible from where the last encounter was? Or the area with the greatest density of crystals? Good call. The four beasts are going to be conservative within, with the actions. There was a place I noticed before when I was in the air. It has a staggering amount of crystal. I only saw it from a distance, however, so I don't know the way there. If you give me the general direction, I can go look. Oh, right. You've been here for ages. Indeed. I don't want to get hated as soon as I get in here, but I might have too much luck lately. That's fine, don't worry about it. Getting lucky is good. You're incredible, Grave. Let's move. Let's move! Let's move! That was a long conversation. Hell yeah. Shiny stuff right there. Hell yeah. Gimme, 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 gimme. Kakarua! So you take an ass. Fight all! It's so the Uh, the moment the Pikmin is released, everybody's going again. Gonna get your power to others have. Pretty much expected by association. Uh, I guess. I mean, whatever character comes out, they're always gonna be compared to the other meta characters, just because people want to know if they're good or not. That's gonna happen irrespective of the fact that they're pilgrim or not. But people assume that pilgrims are gonna be good, or that they should be good. You got Cinderella, Moderna, and Dorothy at the door in two days. Hey, congratulations! What's your opinion on the new Rapunzel? I haven't used her even once. So I have no idea. I just, like, on paper know what she does. It seems interesting. But uh, I haven't tried her. So I don't know if she's good. But, like, from what I know, she... She's tanky, she creates a shield. She drains her own HP to heal the shield. Uh, but she can also heal herself from a basic attack depending on like if you charge for a long time or not which i think is interesting uh but i don't know how that actually works um i don't know how that actually works well when it comes to auto mode for example she kind of looks like an alternative to leader i guess so but um I feel like her buff are like weaker, right? Because leader buffs like a tremendous amount of attack, I think. So she's probably kind of like a like small white, for example. They're like good free units, but they're probably not going to replace them. But like if you don't have a leader at the moment, that's definitely going to be a, a good option to use for sure. Like back in the day, I didn't have a good character, so I was clearly using 
I, I was I used Snow White a lot, like baby Snow White, when I was uh, to farm campaign. Because I, I didn't have a stronger unit, right? I didn't have any character that had like good wipe ability. So um, she was very, very good for me. So I feel like if you don't have leader or, or you know, a strong leader, uh, getting a free LMB um, Rapunzel might be great. Can I ask for a team review? What's the team? Pure Rapunzel is good if you're in need of a fifth unit to break the 160 wall and you know how to play her manually. Yeah, pretty much is what we think. But it's like, I feel like most people don't want to play a defense character manually. Probably worth trying. Yeah, absolutely. I just I haven't gotten around to you, to be honest. Rappy. Yes. Why are you so anxious? Can I ask you something? Ask. After all that time, how did you never give up? Give up what? Protecting Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella is precious. She's everything to me. That's why I never gave up. I see. Why did you give up? What? I... I carried on. Red Hood's legacy. I tried, to be exact. But I couldn't. I want to be just like her. I yearned for it. But Red Hood and I are so different. I realized I couldn't possibly take on that mission. So that's why I gave up. You tried to take up Red Hood's mission. But you were unable to. Why? She was too good for me. Hmm? I don't understand. I wasn't worthy of becoming her. When you carry on someone's legacy, do you become that person? What? When you talk on the life work of another, you don't become that person. What are you saying? Let me ask you something. What were Red Hood's final words to you? What did she wish for you? Did she hope you would become her? N no. Then what did she say? There's still work to be done. I'll leave the rest to you. You see, at no point did she say she wanted you to become like her. But then what could she have wanted me to do? That I cannot answer. Only you know that. I am not the same person I was in the past. Cinderella has told me. I was very different then. She was. So she probably did go through a mind, mind switch. Unrecognizable from who I am now. So I am a successor to my past self. My past self wished to revive Cinderella. My current self is protecting her. I am successfully carrying on the legacy of the past. What's important is that Cinderella is safe. The method doesn't matter. What's important is what you're trying to carry on. You believe that to carry on Red Hood legacy, you had to become her. There must be a reason for that. What did Red Hood live for? What did she aspire towards? What is it about her that you found worthy of inheriting? What kind of person was Red Hood to you? You know the answer. Choosing which parts to inherit from her and finding your own path. That is succeeding. Grave. Stay strong. You are beautiful. Stay that way. Grave quickly walks away. Man, Grave MVP, dude. Rappy. Yes. I think I know how, how you saw Red Hood. Me too. Same here. There was never a moment when I didn't think of Red Hood that way. But how can someone like me dare to think I'm worthy of carrying on such a legacy? Master is being called the Ark's final hope, the hero of the Ark, and the strongest commander there ever was. I'm not so sure about that. I myself am referred to as the Firepower Master, the God of Firepower. Says you. But no one is born that way. Those things are earned. They're the result of never losing sight of your goal, of tirelessly moving forward. No one's born a Firepower Master. I think you're giving yourself a bit too much credit. But all in all, I think you're right. Greatness isn't something you're born with. No matter how bad things get, so long as you look toward those distant stars, there will come a day when the brilliance reflects back at you. Hey, Larby, Stan, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it, welcome. And it will be reflected in your eyes. 
It happened to me once, even though it wasn't for long. So, if you want to, you're more than worthy of inheriting the legacy, Rabbi. You can do it. I'll be there to help you. You better believe it, since I can't do it myself. Hmm? I'm not quite sure I follow, but I gladly lend you my firepower. You can do it, Rabbi. We can do it together. I will try. So long as you all are with me. I think I can do it. Good, then for the first step, let's send Behemoth packing. Alright! Woohoo! Yariwa ya! Oh! Yippee! Yippee! Yee! Did he just went with the yee? Yee haw! Be quiet, you morons! <laughs> Such beautiful commentary! Indeed. Uh, how fire is the update song? It's pretty fire. If I do say so myself. Ah, more! Wait, where's the shiny stuff? Oh, it's over there. Kakaru! Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, moving on. Can you read my team? What's your team? That's the way we do. You know what I want to drink? I want to drink a boba tea right now. Oh my god! You know what I actually want to want? I want to. I don't know. Do you do you do you know what I want to want? Uh, Crown Rapunzel leader, Scarlet Black Shadow Red Hood. Crown Rapunzel leader. Uh, which Rapunzel do you have? Leader Rapunzel. I assume it's base Rapunzel. Leader Scarlet Black Shadow. Red Hood, the old one, okay. That's pretty good, yeah. I think that's pretty good. I think it's good. About as good as it gets. Yeah, I think it's uh I think it's a good team. Um I haven't really used Black Shadow that much. I do want to. Uh Rapunzel is fine, that team. Uh some people would use Naga instead of Rapunzel here. Um But yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's say uh, 8 out of 10. You listed yours Moderna, Emma, Cinderella, Pure Rapunzel, and Naga. Uh, Moderna, Naga, Pure Rapunzel, Cinderella, Emma. That's a lot of healing you have. I feel like Emma, you can probably replace her. Moderna and Cinderella are very good. Uh, I feel like with Cinderella. And Naga, and even pure Rapunzel, you definitely can replace Emma. I would change Emma for someone else if I were you. Like, um, just to, you probably want a character that wants that can buff your team's squad damage, right? Uh, so I would go for you know like just someone that has like strong buff. Like even if you don't have leader, for example, you could always go for someone like um, I don't know, like Exia or some random stuff. I would give it a six out of ten. I don't know. You just trying to wrap himself with Dorothy. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Wrap himself with Dorothy. If you feel like you don't have enough healing because you, you're struggling a little bit, you can keep the team like this. But I would probably still replace Emma in that team. I would put someone else like, let's say, Leader or Exia if you don't have better. Or, you know, just any burst one that can essentially buff your, com your, your team, right? Uh, would function here. So, leader would be good. If you have Rouge, maybe, or, you know, the killer wife, that, that can be good too, depending on the team you have. Um, is the killer wife only a fire buffer? I don't remember. Um,
No, I, I think she's just a, cr a strong buffer. Uh, like Dikla Wife or Rouge or even Tia or... I think Hexia is fine if you have her. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, buffer you can use as a burst one, in my opinion. It really depends on what other kids you have. Do you have Tia or Crown to pair with Nanga? Yep. Modania and Ella. Uh, Ella, both perfectly good DPS you need. Ella? Oh, Cinderella. All you need is good cooldown reduction and damage boosters. Yep. You can also go with the bunny duo if you have them too, to be honest. I have a theory of how Cinderella became corrupted. It's not so much the theory that he Red Shoe gave the Cinderella was the cause of her corruption. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, Red Shoe is the one that's definitely the most sus. Uh, the T could be... It could have been the T um, that she said was something Dorothy drank. Um, and also she participated in the maintenance, right, for the first time. So I feel like those two things make her a little bit sussy back out. Uh, there's also the fact that she said how she wanted everyone to be united, right? So I feel like uh, Red Shoes is definitely the most suspicious one, uh, in my opinion. But uh, we'll have to find out. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, we might find out... I don't know if we'll find out uh, day one, like, of, the, uh, of part two, but uh, we're definitely going to find out. Uh, we are... Because I think the... The update is going to be in two days. Uh, the unlock, the unlocking of part two of the story uh, of all tales, and uh, so I'll do it in three days again. I'm not spending gems to get access to the entire story day one. I don't care enough for that. So day one, I'll do the first five events. Day two, the second five, and then day three, I'll do eleven to twelve, which uh, will finish the thing. So if you want to, you know, be here when I do it, feel free to do so. Uh, otherwise, I also post it on YouTube, so, you know, you can catch the VODs. Maybe Red Shoes did it out of jealousy? I doubt it. The way she's talking, because she mentioned wanting to be united. So I feel like she probably just... Either she's already a, a heretic, or... Um, or she just wants everyone to become heretics. If she thinks she's better, maybe she has some grudge against humanity or something. I think you spoiled yourself and spoiled way too much. Well, don't spoil us. We all suspect Red Shoes to be the culprit. I mean, she's the one acting the most sus. It's possible she's not the culprit, right? I really doubt it would be Abe because she really hasn't done anything. But who knows? Um, there is another suspicious point is Hansel and Gretel. Because when Oswald was here, she was like... You were supposed to only have made like four models. Who are those two girls? Because even him, even he didn't know who they were. So there's definitely something weird with uh, Hansel and Gretel that we don't know about. That said, they haven't done anything suspicious so far. We just don't know where they come from. But yeah, at the moment, Red Shoes seems to be the one. She's the one that has. I would say she's the one that has the most visible action that might have um, caused the corruption because of the tea, the special tea she gave, the fact that she participated in the maintenance, etc, etc, right? Um, but I guess we'll find out. Very recent prototype. Yeah, that were like, she's, they're probably like, she probably just made them without alerting like the central government or something. Uh, but still, we, we don't know, right? We can only speculate. But she could be red herring quite literally. She could be. What can I I'm looking forward to to find out for sure. Alright, let's see here. Oh, hi yo! Oh, I just saw that the... Maybe I, I need to... Uh, let me see. I think the text is a bit too big. So let me do that and then make it smaller. Uh, I think that's better. I feel like the, the text bubbles are a bit too big, maybe. Should I go back to the, the previous text uh, bubble ch chat bubble? The battalion theory was the series of most police stuff for that. I feel like Abe only sees an EKS soldiers. Um, I'm not sure, because she, she really seems to care. If she only saw them as uh, soldiers, 
why would she try to protect them from getting scrapped? You know what I mean? Uh, bye, Kate. See you later. Alright, more story time. Let's go. Oh, we started to be in deficit. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. You would not want your hard work being scrapped now, would you? Yeah, but the, I'm just saying the way she talked, it seemed like she did care about them on a more personal love level than just, oh, it's my hard work. Especially if it could cause her to get killed by the central government, right? This is considered a bit like traitor behavior. I don't think it's to the point that, like, she would want to be an enemy of humanity. I got of the 34, so far so good. What's wrong? Something's been bothering me. Heretics are supposed to be able to tell where heretics are. But the four beasts are covered in that black liquid so they can't be detected. Right, so what are you... S Damn it, they know our location. But why aren't they making a move? Knowing them, they're probably scared. Or maybe they're preparing something big. Something to do with dark matter. Yeah, if I were them, I'd send another big wave away as a surprise attack. Rumble. I feel the same vibration from before. God damn it, Neon! I turn my head and see a massive black wave surging towards us. Okay, you're either clairvoyant or you're working with the raptures. Which is it? Neither! Should I break through it? I think I can do it. Jinx mush? Exactly. No, that might be what they want. Save your strength. I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh grave queen, lickable abs. Thank you. No. Have you played through the chapter? Uh, L R N Jesus. Ah, uh, not the bulls. Not the bulls, not again. I hate those bulls. Cheese grating abs. True! No, no, no. They're just well chiseled. I don't want them to be... Gr I don't want to... That would hurt my tongue. <laughs> that would be unpog, as they say. Finished it a couple of days ago. Nice too. Magic Wavos team, be on the lookout for Tia or Crown to join your rooster. Have the best, the best measure niggas require to receive an over shield, which Tia and Crown provide with a skill. Exactly. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The black wave is getting closer. Don't move you until I tell you to. Grave stares at the wave with a profound intensity. You're not gonna shoot beams out of your eyes or anything, are you? That's my thing. Beams my ass? It's just a light reflecting off your glasses. Be quiet, I can't focus. Okay, sorry. Grave focuses on the wave again. Harmony cube, activate. Yay! The part attached to Grave's back begins to glow. Running computations. Desi designate body as auxiliary computation device. Small white is the cutest little baby ever. Initiating pattern recording. Pattern recording complete. Commencing pattern analysis. Wow, she got really very bows all of a sudden. It's getting smart a part of her abilities. Be quiet, she said she's trying to focus. True, Master should be able to tune out everything when they're focusing. I can hear everything, so be quiet. Ah, uh, sorry. Pattern analysis complete. Commencing computation based on record pattern. The part attached to Graves' back glows even brighter. Commencing target pattern prediction. 5 seconds window, accuracy 97%. Plot spoiler, ready. Particle bursts out from Grave's back. Cravial, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. The particles float around us, not moving. Hmm? Wow, so pretty! Follow me. Stay close. Grey begins to walk slowly. 
Uh, should we follow her? She's heading right for the wave. Go. I trust her. Didn't Dorothy get a rerun? I think Dorothy got a rerun. Maybe I'm wilding. I might be wilding, to be honest. I don't remember. Let's go. We follow Grave. The wave is getting closer and the vibrations are getting stronger. Grave turns to head northeast. Okay. Watch over there. And we all silently follow behind her. Are we sure about this? It was Modernia? Might have been. What's going on here? If my assumptions are correct, this is an incredible power she has. What are your assumptions exactly? Foresight. Stop. Grace stops moving. Cinderella. When I give the signal, wait for three seconds and then initiate a forward facing attack with glass sleepers. Temps and power should be enough. Okay. Rumble, the wave is almost upon us. Avoiding it would be impossible at this point. Yeah! Would you stay still? Take my hand, Commander. Don't move from your position. Trust me. Okay. Just as the wave is about to engulf us, Grave takes one side step to the left. We quickly follow suit. Cinderella. Now. Three, two, one. Whoosh! A wave of light emits from glass sleepers and slams into the towering wave, carving a hole big enough for a human to fit through. As the wave approaches, we can see straight through the newly created opening. The waves surge over us as we all stand in a straight line. Passing through the opening made by Cinderella. Damn! Unbelievable! We look back. The hole is no longer there. What the? With a loud hiss, steam wafts from various parts of Grave's body. That was amazing, Grave. It was pretty amazing. She used the Harmony Cube's computational power to analyze the pattern of the wave. That allowed her to predict this movement five seconds ahead of time. And breaks through it while expanding the least amount of energy possible. Indubitably. Uh, that was pretty pog. This is incredible. Even though the wave was moving so quickly, she pinpointed its weak spot and timed it perfectly. Canonically, Cinderella should be strong enough. Uh, yeah, but essentially we're saying that she needs to keep her power. So even though she could have broken through uh, the wave easily by using her power, it would have been too much considering we have to fight afterward. So that we were able to pass right through it. I presume she used the same concept to dodge Behemoth's crystals. The crystals have a tendency to move in straight lines, so most likely not as much calculation were required. But she used her own body as an auxiliary computation device with the Harmony Cube. If she keeps doing that, won't she be at risk of a mind switch? It's okay. I won't be affected by such things. The worst that will happen is that my speech will be slower. Oh, so like you were before. I'll be fine soon. In the meantime, get ready. They'll be coming. Above us! Whoosh! I look up. Three massive objects are flying toward us. Those iron crystals, they're made of concrete. They were waiting for us, the cowards. I'll break them. Go! I'll go too. No, you save your strength. Vessi's shawls opens. Inside there are numerous lenses, each of which proceeds to emit laser sights. Bye, Dragon, take care of yourself. The laser locks onto each of the three incoming concrete slabs. Missile containers online. Fire! A massive volley of missiles launch and score direct hit. With a resounding explosion, the concrete blocks shatter into a million pieces. Dust and debris fall to the ground. As I hunker down to protect myself, I see behemoths in the midst of the cloud of smoke and debris. She was riding on those things. How did you all avoid the wave? Tell me. Behemoth lands. 
One of her massive clamps slams down. Claws, sorry, not clamps this time. Slams down. Sometimes they say clamps, sometimes they say claws. Slams down, sending cracks snaking through the ground. So immense is the power behind the strike that it feels as if the entire planet is trembling. How about a rematch? The four beasts have descended upon the land. It will append the earth, flood the waters, blow out the sky and incinerate everything with blue flames. Damn. The ground continues to split. And begins to shake even more intensely than before. The ground is moving? The ground's turning to black water. We're surrounded! The patch of ground we were standing on has now turned into an island floating amidst a sea of black water. What little dry land is left is quickly being subsumed by the black water. This entire area was lying on top of a sea of black water. They're trying to drown us! No, they're trying to separate us. No! Cinderella! Graves! We've walked into a trap. Cinderella and Grave are isolated and far away from us. They move further and further in the distance until it is hard to make them out. One thing is unmistakable, however. I can make out a silhouette of a wound rising up from beneath the water's surface. Leviathan is with them. What? What is she doing over there? Isn't that a good thing? They must have some sort of plan. That means on this side. The ground shakes. The whole king behemoth with the giant pincers spreads her arms wide and smiles as if welcoming us. Hello, friends. What do you say to that rematch? That should be my line. Oh, shit. It's badass. It's badass. Alright, we gotta get to the next part of the story quick. You can't tease me like this, game. Don't blue beam me. Music, yada! Alright, which way? So there's a shiny bit here. And I'm not seeing a shiny bit on the right side. So, between the two, I'll go left side. I'll, I'm leaving some of them in, back there. I'll clear them in the, in the future. I just want to go through the story right now. So not absolutely fighting every single monster on the map. To go with Dorothy, Naga, and Ella and Moderna, beat on the Laga for a burst three Nikki, they can do single target damage for boss fights, so Red Hood, Snow White, or either variant of Scarlet, Maxwell, Place, Quincy, Escape, Alice, or Phantom combination. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Um, Aim could work, I guess, too. She has, she has decent damage. Um, I guess pretty good. Um, I would say you can always try to get um, Dorothy, Naga, Naga, Ella, and Moderna. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I totally agree with that. Koda! So Koda ja! Ayn is really good too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely love her. And soon we'll be getting Grave, right? Who's gonna be a great uh, buffer for all the Pierce characters we've been getting. Especially, like, uh, retroactively, this is gonna make um, the Evangelion collab better. Which is pretty cool. mind on that guitar all right what do we have here another one bop, 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 bop. another one but it's the i'm so hungry i'm starving i'm starving i don't know what uh, what i can do though oh i think i have <gasps> oh god yeah i need to i need to buy groceries i hope i can still be get delivered tomorrow that would suck otherwise oh i still have some frozen nems you pull Escape Queen Quincy? Uh, yeah, she can work. Yatta! Arose!
Oh, didn't see this guy. Oh, hi, yo! Oh, hi, yo, my only chan! Uh, good morning, my brother! Give her a try in Emma's spot, she'll likely put in a lot of work. Yes, sir. Alright, nice you. Next! Another shiny bob. A shiny bob and beams and bobs and bobby bobby we know. Let's see here. I hate those balls. Get away from me, ball, you creep. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh my god, what a nightmare. Where's my boss? You could it in ya! Ta-da! All right. Gimme, 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 gimme. It's lore time. Dark matter contains nanomachines, which are teeny tiny robots. These machines receive signals sent by the user and manipulate the dark matter accordingly to, to alter its form. It's worth noting that you cannot transform into certain items such as weapons or food. Nor can it be used to manufacture a robot that can transform into something similar. Okay. You do have noise? Um... I think putting a DPS would be better than having a, a, a noise in here. Hey, Tron, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Willkommen, willkommen. All right, let's see here. Let me kill the bus. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Yatta! I need to play more Final Fantasy XIV, dude. I still haven't played in Walker. I gotta, I gotta play in Walker and 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 yeah, and then the new one, the summer vacation one. I've just, I've got so many games to play. I can't play all of them at the same time. It's crazy. I need to take damage. Ah, I see. I have to try that Ruffy. They're forcing me to use snipers. Yatta! Break! 
My man! How are you doing today, mister? Distribution damage also bypasses the damage reduction, so Scarlet Black Shadow makes short work of damage. Focus on other enemies. Oh, that's interesting. But I don't want to change my team. It's my waifu team. EX stage appearance. 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 Alright, let's see here. Are we getting... <gasps> New lore soon. Oh, there's a little beep. Beep. Bits and bobs and bits and bobs and bits and bobs and bits and bobs. You know what I want to eat? I want to eat nuggies. Mmm. Mac nuggies, these not. Oh, dude. 20 Mac nuggies in my gullet. Oh, 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 oh. Delicious. And now I'm going to feed it to my cats like a mama bird. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give Mac nuggies to my cats. Did you search for the updated motherboard? Uh, no, but like, as you were saying, um, I, uh, I'm going to wait for Black, Fri Black Friday. Well, I'll wait for Black Friday, see what kind of uh, deals we can get, and uh, I'll figure something then. Because I, I, I really want to upgrade my PC. And then I'll ask my friend, who has a friend who's very good at that kind of stuff, and I'll have him reinstall my PC. <laughs> I'll pay him probably, because like, that's a lot of work. Alright, let's see here. Hi! Which reminds me? I need to make a... Um... I need to do a uh, a full backup. I haven't done a, ba a backup in a while. I gotta do that. Backup PT. Yatta! Yatta! Thank you for the Lurk TV. So I appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. See you later. But I need to know price range, so I see if I can help. Um, I have it on my uh, on my throne. I think currently it costs like four hundred bucks or something. So there you can. But I forgot. Ah, Look at her, pretty, pretty. Pat, 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 pat. Crack, crack, crack. Huh? This is too much. <laughs> I'll smash you all to pieces. She's so cool, dude. Behemoth begins a relentless offensive, giving us no time to rest. Her attacks are ceaseless, but contain no tactical consideration whatsoever. She charges blindly at whichever opponent enters the field of view, flailing her pincers haphazardly before looking for whichever target is nearest. All the while, she shatters the ground into pieces, as if making a show of her overwhelming physical strength. Fortunate the way she blushes and like the, the teeth, the blush, the 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 drool, the mwah. Fortunately, the black liquid that was flooding the area has receded. If it was still here, we would have drawn long ago. Even so, we takes everything we can to avoid her strikes. She's gone berserk. She really is like a monster. What's gotten into her? I think she's playing to her strengths. That's right. I've given up using my brain. It wasn't helping me all that much anyway. I'll leave the strategizing for you all. As for me, my tactic is much simpler. Please, all you're doing is flailing around like a toddler. You call that a tactic. Is not really the time to be lecturing someone? A behemoth claws at the ground, great, creating a gaping hole where Anis once stood. If she had been a millisecond slower, she would have been crushed. This isn't good. We can only avoid her for so long. Going head to head with her isn't an option, that's for sure. There is no way we can create enough distance between us either. I'll go. I can try and hold her back. Do you think you can do it? You're not doubting me, are you? Go on then, show, show her who the real monster is. Oh, I can't believe you call Vesti, poor sweet Vesti, a monster. Roger. Rappi. Yes, Rappi's hair turns red. Even though it was only for a brief moment, she was able to block one of the attacks from Behemoth Pincers. If she and Vesti worked together, it could end up being a fair fight. Rappi and Vesti charged toward Behemoth. Behemoth! Damn, that Vesti's face here is intense, dude. Holy crap. 
<laughs> That's right, come at me. Now then. Behemoth suddenly jumps back and clings onto a wall high up off the ground. She jams her pincers into the wall. What? Catch? How about we play catch? Oh shit! Behemoth rips off a chunk of the wall and hurls it in our direction. Everyone get down. Oh shit! And he's neon. Protect the command. Oh! Crash! Oh yeah, Vesti is incredibly strong. I would say she's a monster. Well, a fool, what's up? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I can't see anything. Behemoths continue to tear off chunks of the wall and hurl them at us. All I can do is curl up and pray that I don't get hit. Damn, is this how we all go out? I'm a fan of meteor showers, but this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Is that really the time for jokes? And it's a neon in front of me, providing cover. Don't move, Commander. Just stay right where you're... Hurry! Through the impenetrable cloud of smoke, Behemoth emerges, charging full speed at us. And it's a neon managed to block the pincer that extends out. I can't believe Rappy dealt with this on her own. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's smart to take out the weaker elements first. I forgot about a few too amongst all this excitement. Don't want to leave anything to chance. Are you calling us weak? Am I wrong? Oh! Behemoth's pincers gesticulate wildly as he's sweating at the bottom and fly. And it's a neon that struck and sent flying into a nearby wall. With a loud thud, Behemoth uses the pincers to push me against the same wall. Actually, your blood is the real sore in my side. Any crystals I use would simply disappear. So why don't you stay put in the rock for a little while? Ooh, a searing pain shoots through my back. As Behemoth pushes me further into the wall. Don't worry, just a little bit more and it will all be over. This is my chance. I bite down hard on the inside of my cheek. I feel a warm spread throughout the inside of my mouth. Now. Ptoo! Oh, he went with the Arctua! Hock <laughs> Ptoo! You got a you got a two hawk two on that thing. I spit out a mouthful of blood. Behemoth turns her head to avoid it. I said your blood is annoying. I knew you tried something like that. I can feel time slowing down. Rappy rushes in. She reaches down and rubs her hand in the blood that Behemoth dodged, and then swings her fist toward Behemoth. What? The? Get away from the commander! Is this blood? No! Rappi relentlessly pummels Behemoth, slamming into her with her fists and legs and everything else she has. Even her boobs? Slamming into her with a massive booba. You! Behemoth appears stunned. She's vulnerable and open to most of Rappi's attacks. Ah, just as Behemoth's pincers are about to strike, a red glowing dot appears on the forehead. Not this again! Behemoth's head jerks back. Oh, Rappi jumps up and knees Behemoth in the jaw, sending her several feet into the air. An explosion detonates from Behemoth's head. Rappi takes her weapon, jams into Behemoth's throat, and pulls the trigger. Jesus, that's intense. I feel bad about her. For her. Behemoth closes the mouth, crushing Rappi's gun. A pincer continues to swing wildly in all directions. Rappi hurriedly raises the weapon to protect herself, but the weapon barely absorbs the impact and she's sent flying. Ah, this is dangerous. This dark matter, it's acting strangely. A curse that blood of yours. Another red dot appears on Behemoth's body. Hiding again, are you? Oh, this art is so beautiful, dude. Oh my god, this is... We need... Oh, please, don't kill the... Don't kill this 4 beast, please, game. Please don't kill the 4 beast. Behemoth leaps off the ground and charges with incredible speed. Look at her face! <laughs> My Kokoro. My Kokoro is going doki doki. She is heading toward the Pal of Debris. Her target is clear. Unwa, the source of the red light. Is that all you can do? Hide and take a cheap pot shot. Charging at full speed, Behemoth swings her pincers. Shattering the debris to smithereen, the ground breaks apart and soars into the air in great tufts. It's as if a small bomb went off. With that much force, even an indirect hit would be enough to... Huh? Behemoth's gaze turned toward the sky. 
A scope is floating from the air. A scope? The pile of debris that was beside Behemoth unfurls like a curtain being opened. Then flies off. As the curtain is pulled back, unwise revealed pointing a rifle. Oh boy. Camouflage? Clever girl. All that business with the lace and the scope was a distraction, wasn't it? That's right. It was all for this one shot. Impressive. This is what we call tactics. Behemoth's temple is caved in. <gasps> and it's gonna explode afterward too. No! I need the rest of the story, dude! I need the rest! Damn, that killed Red Hood. <laughs> Alright, let's retry this. It's gonna kind of, uh, when it comes to AR. Well, I mean, against heretics, yeah. I mean, they still do some damage, but not not that much. It, but um, with, the, with the blood coming in, it does hurt them. Crap, I did a little bit of an oopsie, not gonna lie. That's fine. Oh shit. Alright, fuck it. I can't see shit with this. I think we're gonna have to retry this one. You have not seen this, uh, too much of this game, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing gameplay. Oh! Hey, it's pretty fun! I like it a lot. I think what I'm gonna do is actually keep on my burst. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna burst. If it's only one, it's not... Well, it's two. I lost crown to this shit? Dude, that damage is fucking bananas, man. I hate it. We should be fine, though. See what looked like a demo stuff on Twitter, a specific character cover shoot animation, but nothing about gameplay or story. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Why are you so fixated on Grave and me? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. One small flick of the reason I could kill you where you stand. That's probably true. Cinderella, there's no point in talking. Perhaps. But I'm curious. I want to know what trick she's got hiding under her sleeves. I was thinking of making a deal. A deal? You stay out of these fights, and I'll tell you something I think you'll find quite interesting. Information that's very important to you. Before that, tell me what it is you want with me. While it's natural to be attracted to something beautiful, it seems like you have more sinister intentions in mind. What is this? What's with all the questions? Consider it your way. Of thanking me for not killing you right away. My curiosity is the only reason you're still breathing. Hmm. There's something we're hard at work constructing. 
You're a vital part of the process. To be exact, we thought it might work better using you as material. What? That's why we don't care if you're dead. What is it that you're building? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Do you really think I'd tell you? I have one more question. What is this? An interview? The black liquid you control. Is that an homage to Siren? I mean, Little Mermaid. What? Who are you? I see. I got lucky. I got to the truth right away. Alright, my curiosity is satisfied. Goodbye. W wait! What's wrong with you? I said I had some information that's important to you. You don't know me. So there's no way you'd have any information I care about. Good point. You got me. I was just buying time. Cinderella, all the black water is gone. Huh? Oh shit! The black liquid pours over Cinderella and Grave. Cinderella and Grave are pressed down by the surging mass of black liquid, their knees bending under the immense weight. Did I do it? <laughs> it's done! It's done! Yatta! Ah, you have no idea how nervous I was about the not panning out. I just hit you two with all the black sea I've got available. I compressed it until it couldn't possibly be made any denser, and then dropped it on you. Like a waterfall. How does it feel being encased in a wave of liquid metal? Can't move, can you? Let's see. I'd say that you'll be crushed flat in about, say, five minutes. <laughs> yeah! This is really funny. I've gotta take a photo. She's actually taking photos. Oh my god. There's no way I would take you in a fair fight. But make no mistake. You're a heretic, alright. You're practically hubris incarnate. It's thanks to your arrogance that I succeeded. I'll stick around and watch you get crushed. Then I head over and rejoin Behemoth. I'm not going anywhere without confirming that you're dead. Oh, oh shit. She's better than like 99% of villains. I'm not letting my guard down again. Not after last time. Damn! Oh god. I... Okay, so we still got this here. And then... There's probably gotta be monsters appearing here, right? Oh no, we actually did that part. Okay, we're fine. We're reaching the end of the chapter! Woo! GG background. That was a pretty good move from the background, not gonna lie. I, re I really hope we don't kill them. <laughs> I love them so much. They're so lovely. They're so cool. Like, don't kill the four beasts. Don't kill Behemoth and freaking uh, Leviathan. And yet keep Chatterbox alive, game. Don't do this to me, Shift Up. Don't keep Chatterbox, Chatterbox alive and kill those two. That would be... That would be... That would be so mean. I would cry. A villain putting the hero into deadly situation actually sticking around to see them die? Blasphemy, true. Oh boy. Imagine if I can't beat the boss and then we'll never see the end of the chapter. Chatterbox is the cliche villain. You know what I want to know? I want to see Chatterbox's um, original design. Because he's also made from a... He or she, whatever. At the moment, they talk to him as a guy. So, he was originally also made from an EK. So, I gotta know. There were male Nikkei's too? We don't know. No, actually there's no male Nikkei, but 
Um, it has happened that they take male brains and put them in Nikes, but they still they still are female. Um, body wise, at least, I don't know how it works. If they, I don't know. It depends because I guess most of them actually get their memory fully wiped, right? Pascal is male. Uh, yeah, but that's. I mean, this is irrelevant. First of all, I'm not sure that Pascal is actually male. Secondly. It's irrelevant because Pascal is not an EK. I passed 160. Yeah, I'm like level 304 or something like that. He said in the father were male Nikes in the past. Not a Kodo. But I think there was something about like, uh, were males more prone to mind switch or something? I don't remember. Crow is still the best. Crow is fantastic. I wish she was good. I, I love her design so much, dude. Hey, Balu, what's up? How are you doing? So they are male at birth naked after all? I'm pretty sure, yeah. But I mean... It's not like they're trans. I mean, it's complicated. It's like they used the brain and they made them Nikkei. I, I don't think they had the choice to... Tr it's not like they wanted to be female Nikkeis. It's just they were made into Nikkeis and all Nikkeis are female. So it's like... I don't really know what to say. I to cancel the job interview. Turns out it was the MLM. What's an MLM? Apart from... Lem. Oh, multi-layered management, multi-layered apartment scheme. Okay, yeah, 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 that's what it was. Oh, market level marketing, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're fine, don't worry about it. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that you had uh, such a crappy job interview. ba da ba da cheer. Yo, what's up? Thank you for the one BD. Yippee! Thank you for the bad pat. Pretty much they were more aggressive and the Neve didn't integrate well, plus the already low number of male and went out of control and killed everyone, so yes, Nikki are only female. Yeah, that's that's what I remembered. Um, because like basically what happened is that when the first invasion started, uh because in the army, um the army was like mostly composed of male people, right? Because that that's just how it is. I know there's some women in the army, but most of the people in the army tend to be men. And so the male population actually, like, decreased significantly. Because obviously the army got eradicated by um, the Nikkei's, uh, the Rapture, sorry. So that meant that, like, that's why the ratio of male to female is uh, way bigger in terms of uh, female. And that's why there's, like, one commander for, like, three Nikkei's, right? It's basically one, two, three at this point. Uh, but there were some cases. I believe. Uh, it just didn't end up too well. But that's that's probably more to the lore that I don't remember. Commanders be male. There are some... Um, I think... Oh, fuck me. I think Unwa used to be a commander. There are some female commanders. I hate those. Uh. If I made a no C cosplay, it would be bad. I don't know what it means. You do what you want. You know why it's an EK? No, I'm saying she used to be. She used to be a commander and then she became an EK. Oh my god, that fucking stun, dude. Can 
Kill the boss, kill the boss, kill the boss, ignore the rest. There we go. Absolutely roughy. A male would be a male Nikkei. Oh yeah, go ahead. Why not? You do you. Emma. I'll raise the oxygen concentration to the max. Fire all weapons. Take this. Damn. After the soul behemoth who is already reeling from the recent explosion from her head, from all angles, an endless barrage of explosive rifles rounds and missile detonates in quick succession. With the heightened oxygen concentration, their power is even more heightened. The beast which once seemed invincible is brought to her knees. The dark matter, damn it! Here we come. Finally, I can get a few leaks in. Fire power! <laughs> Anis and Neon's also direct attack toward Behemoth. Rappi takes a moment to glance at a broken gun. And then grabs the box which Grey previously gave her. Oh shit! She got her seven dwarves. Tendrils of flame belch at the weapon. Dang, this thing is heavy. Concentrate your fire, let's end this. You got it. All the dark matter is gone, its armor is stripped off. We can do this. This is the end. They don't call us heretic killers for nothing. Nobody calls us that. After a few moments of continuous and interrupted gunfire, the maelstrom finally seizes on Emma's signal. Oh, Jesus. Behemoth is disappearing. I stare at Behemoth. Her entire body has turned grey. Slowly but surely, her body is crumbling into nothingness. We won. <sighs> Nicely done, Rappi. You too, Unwa. It's so heavy. Cinderella. Harmony. Cube. Activate! Ah! Crave. Commencing calculation. Designating body as auxiliary computational device. Pattern recording initiated. Don't, Crave. You suffer mind switch. Pattern recording complete. Commencing pattern analysis. Analysis complete. Grave! Commencing computation based on recorded pattern. It's like so beautiful. <laughs> Plot spoiler ready. Particle bursts out from Grey's back. Walk slowly, Cinderella. I'll give you the signal. I'll take you where there's the least amount of this liquid. Our progress may be slow and take one step at a time. But we'll be on the right path. Grave, are you saying this ability is meant to... With this power, I can avoid any impending misfortune. I can make it so that you can walk the correct path. I can ensure that the story is written as it should be. You... You've gone through much. Let's go, Cinderella. Let's walk the right path. Leviathan anxiously watches the Black Sea formation she has created. But well, she remains confident that no one could possibly penetrate this massive waterfall. She is still bothered by the ability to avoid the previous wave. Therefore, she keeps her eyes fixated on the water, not taking her eyes off of it for even a second. Huh? The flow of the liquid starts to change. Before it, Leviathan sees Cinderella and Grave. Slowly but surely, they walk towards it. All you can do is watch its abject terror. N no! That's impossible! Cinderella escapes from the black waterfall. After staggering for a few moments, she looks back, but sees no sign of Grave. Grave. The roar of the falling liquid is her only answer. Levi Leviathan's leg is blown off. Oh, we don't like that. Get rid of this now. Okay. The black liquid ceases flowing, revealing a motionless grave lying on the floor. Grave. Cinderella. Thank goodness you're alive. Let me take care of this real quick. Cinderella turns back and look at looks at Leviathan. Leviathan feels a terror overcome her, unlike anything she has experienced before. 
With a blood curdling scream, she turns and attempts to run away, limping with a leg that has yet to fully regenerate. Oh, Jesus Christ, save me, Behemoth. Cinderella feels her vision fading. Between the massive attack she unleashed on Behemoth and the Viton earlier, along with being immersed in the Black Liquid for so long, she has been pushed to her utmost limits, despite being a heretic. Cinderella focuses her gaze intently on the fleeing Leviathan. Feeling her consciousness fading, she forces herself to focus. When she's certain she has a clear shot, she fires what she's certain is the coup de grace in this particular battle. Something's coming. Is it Leviathan? Behemoth! An Achilo is! Off in the distance, a sprinting Leviathan is pierced by Cinderella's shot. She falls down and claws the ground. Leviathan calls out to Behemoth while writhing in pain. However, all Behemoth does is continue to slowly disintegrate. Behemoth, where did you go? What? Is that Behemoth? No, it can't be. That's not her, is it? Behemoth has been defeated. You're lying! You know you don't stand a chance against us. That's why you're lying. There's no way Behemoth would lose to the likes of you. Get up, Behemoth! Get up, you idiot! I'm in pain! You promised we said we'd take revenge on them, that we'd strike back! The pain! I think I'm gonna die. Save me, Behemoth! Jesus! What? Behemoth gets up. With a crumbling body that is barely held together, she staggers to her feet. Um tattoo. She appears as she will turn to dust at any moment. Levi. Levi. Don't worry. You. We. I'll. I'll protect. <gasps> Why, you bitch? <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm sure she's fine. Behemoth's head flies off. Causing her disembodied corpse to crumble and disappear. A core falls to the ground with a resounding thud. This is all a lie. I know it. Behemoth down. Now for Leviathan. Wait. What's wrong? Do you feel that vibration? Do you like them? I do like them. Where is it coming from? Yo! The ground starts to shake with such ferocity that it hurts. it's hard to remain upright. Something juts up and fills my view. It resembles a gargantuan piece of heavy machinery. A towering foreign object that seems as if it could trample everything in its path. This can't be. She's transformed. So she could transform after all. She's massive. Behemoth! Retreat, we can't fight her in such cramped quarters. Anis, Neon, let's hurry. Damn it, just when we thought we'd run. Let's book it. What about Cinderella and Grave? Don't worry about them. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, let's go. She's still alive! Don't kill her, please! So maybe they need to go through... Maybe the transforming thing is something they can, like... It's an ability they can unlock. But, like, it's hard to do or something, you know? Maybe it's like an awakening. That's why she wasn't using it before. I, I don't know, honestly. Alright, let's grab that here. Um, and here... Do we have a shiny over here? No shininess? I don't see any shiny. I think it's just a shortcut to go back to the beginning here. It's probably gonna be X stage at some point here. Alright, let's keep moving forward. I, I gotta see what happens next. I gotta see... I gotta know. I got to know. Motorola! But 
thing is that, like, you, the thing is that you really see that they care about each other. Like, the other, like, Scatterbox, etc. Uh, Chatterbox, sorry, and Divitalia, like, they ate. They try to fucking fully eat Ni Nihilister. It's like, yeah, I don't really have much sympathy. Like, I kind of like Individual because she's hot. But, like, it's like, yeah, they're, they're assholes, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, those guys, they're, they're likable. They're likable because they're, like, they're sad and pathetic. And, yeah, they're antagonists and they're strong and they, they cause issues, you know? But also, they're very humane, if that makes sense. Like, they have, they have clear flaws. And, um... And very human emotions, so it, it feels bad to see them like this, you know? I feel bad, like, just, like, fucking them up. I feel bad, okay? I feel bad. Can't we just all be friends? Can't, can't we just all be friends, okay? I really don't want them to die. Behem is quite a hair hair. Yeah, she's like she's funny, she's quirky, she's just trying she's she just wants to have fun, okay? Can't you can you blame a girl for wanting to have fun? No. -uh. Oh the X stage is over there. Okay, never mind. I eat my word. Alright, let's go. We gotta see it through. There's two more shiny bobs. There's one here and the last one is over there. Okay. We're so close to the end of the chapter. As it is comprised in a large part of another machine, be cautious of vapors. Also, just because it looks like water doesn't mean it acts like water. Avoid swimming in it or otherwise coming into contact with it. Hold up, are you even reading this? If I ask you to name a number out of the blue, answer with this. That will tell me if you've actually been reading this or not. Them. Hiroshimas? She's actually smart? Yeah, I, I think it's not that she's necessarily, like, intelligent. But I think she... I, I do think she has a uh, good um, intuition. Like, she's not stupid, let's put it this way. Almost there. Almost. Two more. Well, one more fight than the boss. Ah, I'm hyped! Ah, more! Alright, let's go. Oh, of course she's stunned. Fuck off. Bum, 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 bum. We left her to recover. Yeah, but now she's in the team. Don't worry about it. But just, she, she hasn't been back in the story in a long time. I wonder what she's up to. I'm curious. All right, it's happening, chat. It's, hap it's happening. 3438, boss. That's right. Run, you fools. What's that? I can't hear you. Oh, she's so happy. Look at her. Well, at least you're having fun. Behemoth. 
Yeah? It transformed. How did you do it? I don't know. I just thought though about how much I wanted to protect you and... Huh? I can't hear you. Yes, you can. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you're talking about. The man's blood. The vampires? When I came in contact with his blood, it felt like every single cell in my body had lost control. Last time it was such a foreign feeling that my dark matter peeled off. This time, however, I had this strange sensation that I could hold on to it. It felt like I can't control it. Then I started thinking, hey, maybe I can do this. Considering how dire the situation was and the state you were in, I figured if I didn't do something quick, we'd be in big trouble. So I gave it a shot. And it worked. So Vapaz is... Yeah, this is all speculative, mind ya. But it may not only be harmful to us. It's... evolution. You see? Convert... Yeah, yeah, conversation is the cornerstone of evolution. Happy now? <laughs> I sure am. Anyway, should we go deal with them? Yeah, let's end this. Do you never learn? We desperately attempt to flee from the pursuing behemoth who comes at us with a loud, loud roar. She's catching up. Commander, we can engage them in this location. The better question is whether we should fight her at all, regardless of location. Maybe all she can do is move around. She does kind of look like a car after all. Don't be ridiculous! I I'm ready. So am I. Awaiting your orders, Commander. Engage. Encounter! Encounter! But you must be a truly manga power of moment, you know it. Through the power of friendship. She evolved to protect her, her friend. Please, let's not kill her. Yo! Look at her go! Yo! Looking good. Oh, she has a claw machine! Can I get some nice plushie from her? I have no idea how, how she works, to be honest. I'm just gonna shoot. Any, any parts here I need to be cautious of? Gatling gun, Gatling gun. She has projectiles, okay. She has oh, she had a thousand elf bar. Oh, yo, she's so cool. Arr, I like that. She's a big cow now. <laughs> ah, classic cow transformation. All right. Oh my god, the machine gun is so tanky. There we go. Was that iron only or something? Ah! Alright, machine gun down. Let's try the other one now. There's some wrapping involved. Rapa! We need to, yeah. It's an electric only shield. Oh shit. Oh! It's down for the count, baby. Let's go! Please don't bully. That's not good. Okay, perfect dodge. It's a ninja! Oh my god. I don't- I can't kill her fast enough. I got 15 seconds left and she still has 250 health bar. 
I don't have the damage. Oh my god, I actually don't have the damage. No. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's a reap and a half, dude. No, I can't get I can't get blue bean here. I can't get blue bean here. Well, let, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, squad? <sighs> let me think, let me think, let me think. What if we do that? What if we try this team? Um, where's my Cindy? I don't have much resources for that, unfortunately. <sighs> Polish that shit! <gasps> I came! Alright. Put rouge on position... Did I, did I not do that? Did I put it back on the left side by mistake? I did you right. Whoops, my bad. Alright, there we go. No! There we go. I had done a loopsie. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, I just... I had it on the right side and I put her back on the left side for some reason. Hey, Moira, what's up? Well, hopefully we don't get negatively affected by the bugs. I will say that the way the projectile works for her is kind of weird. It does make it so that some of her attacks actually don't hit the cores and stuff like that, which is kind of fun. Does that hurt me that much? Oh, yeah, absolutely does. I was like, maybe I can ignore this projectile. I can't. I missed you in the stream. Well, you know where to find me. I'm always here. Sounds like I went anywhere. If necessary, I will switch Red Hood to uh, Ayn. It's just my Red Hood is stronger, in theory. But um, if I'm still struggling here, I'll do that. I didn't realize how many stack I had. Maybe I should have waited a bit. But I think I was already at 12, to be honest. I'm not sure. Alright. Yeah, absolutely, Charm. Well, that was a bit messy, but somehow still worked. 
Jesus Christ, we got hit by the shit. Man, the struggle is real. Red Hood uh, will be able to clear that part here. I don't know, man. Alright, let me try something. What if I try... What if I... I feel like this, that's gonna be pretty sussy if I put Hein here. Bad burst timing, yeah. Summer Annie's build? I don't really have her build, no. Just down here. Because I only got her this summer and I didn't really uh, use her at all. I'm not convinced, chat. This was a bit rough. We might be in for a bad time and a half. God, I got annihilated. I feel like maybe I don't actually use Rouge and I can't do a mix of those two things. So I think what I want to do here People say to use Rouge. I don't know, I'm just trying teams. So what I'm thinking is, uh, what if I, I keep Red Hood because I think her damage is probably my highest I've got. What if we go with this instead, right? I feel like this will be better. I don't have a cube. I'll just give her that, it's fine. Just that. Uh, unknown Lamp Lover, thank you for the follow. Alright, let's try that. This boss is in Kikas, true. Any damage protection cues on this boss? Um, the problem is not necessarily the damage I take, I think the problem is the, the damage I deal. I need to deal more damage. Nerd. 
She heals every shot. Yep. So far it seems better. Fuck, I forgot about that. No, I'm so sorry! Please don't kill me! It was just a joke! He didn't get the joke. He didn't get the joke. Uh, I think this should work. Uh, I think this team should work if I don't fuck up this shit again. But uh, we should have the damage we need. Some rallies. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a fellow man, uh, commander. True. What is the prank? I know, it was just a prank, but he didn't get the joke. Like, I swear to god, what the fuck is wrong with them? I was just here, chilling, vibing, making a prank or two, and they were just like, no. No. <laughs> Don't you have a sense of humor, behemoths? God damn it! You know what? This is good. This fight is making me angry against behemoths, so maybe now I'm not so mad if we kill her. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe this is not such a bad idea to kill her. But actually, I still feel bad about killing her. I, I don't want to. Did he bring back the raid? No, 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 no. This is not the raid. This is the... The story. Stop throwing shit at me, bitch! supposed to be here okay let's try this shit okay we got an ulti right no no you troll me i was like okay he's not jumping back we're fine okay we, we got time to recharge this we got time to recharge this we got we got time okay chat we got time we got time we got fucking got we did it oh thank god Charging on manual with Red Hood is fucking paramount. <laughs> she charges the burst so fast with just spamming her, her shots. She wants to rock you, she can. I'm down to clown. Yes! Crap, she scared me. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't expect her to rush. Yeah! Woohoo! We did it! Yes! Woo! Okay. Insane. Alright, please don't kill them. Please don't kill them. Please don't kill them. Huh? The transformation stopped. Are you kidding me? At a time like this? It can't be helped, it's my first time, so I'm not used to it yet. But they're still alive! Barely. Behemoth looks around. And they're on the last legs, but I'm perfectly fine. 
Ah, this transformation thing is pretty nice, it even heals you. Yeah, I don't see any downsides to it. No wonder the offspring snubbed and nose at us. Whoops. It seems Behemoth transformation is an ability she has just awakened. Talk about bad timings. Levy, let's capture the man alive. Sure, he still has plenty of research value. Over my dead body. Be gone, you foul beast. No thanks. I'd rather stay. Behemoth snaps her fingers. Sud, 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 sud. Numerous raptures rain down from the sky. At the same time, more approach from behind her. There are so many of them. Did you do that? I certainly did. You can summon raptures. How? I just felt like I'd be able to. Maybe after transforming, they recognize me as a true heretic. You are amazing! <laughs> Truly amazing! <laughs> Stop, you're making me blush. Now then, let's have the raptures take care of these annoying pests. And we'll snag the treasure after... The treasure that will help us evolve. Sounds like a plan. The raptures begin to focus their attacks on Absolute. In the meantime, Behemoth and Leviathan slowly walked towards me. Anis, Neon, let's go. Things are really getting dangerous now. Yeah, but we still have to go. Yeah, we've got to help wrap you in. You said it. Let's go. The Countess charge forward. There are heat and sand flying. Grabbed and flung through the air, knocked to the ground by rocks tossed by one of the pincers. Anis fights through the pain and stands up. Neon rapidly stands back up, pretending to be fine. Rapid stands up, never taking a steely gaze off the enemy for a moment. Again, they are knocked down. And again, they get back up. Knocked down, back up. I get knocked down, but I get up again. No, you don't get me down. Knocked down, back up. Are they getting bored? Why don't you just run? I won't chase you. What? Do you hear what you're saying? Come back later. We'll talk then. Go ahead. I won't chase after you, promise. Is this a joke to you? Don't screw around with us! Rabbi finally opened up to us and getting her to talk is like drawing blood from a stone. We promised her that we'd help. I got corrupted, true. I mean, I've played too much hours of uh, Corruption of Champions, so I'm probably corrupted. We promised her it would help. We finally feel like we're part of something. We're not giving up before we've even properly started. The outcome may be uncertain, but I do know one thing. If we lose here, if we run, if we give up, we won't be able to move forward. No Trappy, nor us. So we have to win. You guys, stop talking and start attacking. Come at us, you big oaf. <gasps> Alice, that's going too far. Nah, there's some words we don't use here. Rapid charges forward, with Anis and Neon close behind. Behemoth. Yeah. Why don't we hire them? Make them part of the team. That's a good idea! I told you they were good! Black Liquid rises around the Countess me charge. It quickly envelops them and forms a sphere. No! We must get them to come to our side, whatever it takes. They're too good to pass up. I start running toward Behemoth and Leviathan. I bat down on my hand. After drawing some blood, I sprint towards the Black Sphere. My vision instantly darkens. What's this? He entered the Black Sea. Did he go in to save them? He would appear so. Does he intend to use the Vapos to neutralize the Black Sea? Apparently. Has he lost his mind? I would say so. Ah, what a headache this is turning into. I'll go in and be right back. Are you going to do some of that hypnosis of yours? <laughs> remember what I said? Ooh! Remember when I said that maybe uh, the four beasts are like the future form of the old tale uh, squad? Like, is she actually Little Siren or something? Like, what? Like maybe she was transformed into a heretic or something? It's called Mind Control, thank you very much. The Black Sea is compatible with Nymph, so creating illusion is no big deal. 
Although it does tear me out. Be careful, last time you did that, you vomited all over the place. You were bedridden for three days afterward. It's thanks to that that we were able to make these fears in the first place. Furthermore, you've been working hard enough. It's time I did my part. Have to evolve too, don't you think? Mm -hmm. You're right. Trust me, it's been more than pulling your weight. Go ahead, I'll keep the others from interfering. Okay, I'll be back. That girl with hair turned red. Her name's Rappy, right? You remember her name. You must have taken a liking to her. <laughs> Helping her first, she seems to be the glue holding everyone together. If I take her down, they should all tumble soon enough. Don't go too hard on her, otherwise there won't be much left of her to join the team. Okay, okay. I'll do my best. The Vitan enters the Black Sphere. What a strange feeling. I can't explain it, but I feel like we're not the only ones about to evolve. What does that mean? I'm scared. Rappi! <gasps> it's all Rappi is coming! This is odd. There's nothing here. Normally, there would be space of some kind containing memories, painful or joyous. Hmm, that's right. You don't have a nymph, do you? Interesting. Who are you? A little bosom buddy. You're telling me you're my friend. That's right. I've come to hear your troubles. What's hailing you? I wanted to become Red Hood. But it didn't work out. I see. Suddenly backshot, yes, yeah, suddenly AOS. That's unfortunate. But Grave told me that there's more to it than simply accepting responsibility. First you assume the mental, and then you go on your own way. You carry the legacy of your predecessor on your shoulders, and you'll never forget them, but you also forge your own path. That's what I'm trying to do. Anis, Neon, and the commander said they would help. I think I can do it. No, you yeah, have already failed. All you're doing is running away. How is that doing the legacy justice? If you ask me, I think it's an excuse. When things don't go as planned, you fool yourself and say, Oh no, actually, this was what I intended to do all along. <laughs> it's laughable. All you're doing is sugarcoating the fact that you failed, shamelessly attempting to justify your shortcomings. Really? Yes, really, so just give up. You've failed. You've been a failure your entire life. Would it be better to simply remain here and pass on? No, there's no way I've failed. You have! I haven't shown anyone the real me yet. I'm not Red Hood, I can never be her. Because I'm not her. I haven't even started down my own path yet. How could I have fa failed? The commander said so himself. He said he was looking forward to seeing what had become. I have to show him. I can't let him down. As long as the commander is with me, as long as Anis and Neon are with me, I can keep going. As long as I keep moving forward, I will be able to fully be myself, and I have done Red Hood's legacy proud. Uh, you're stronger mentally than I thought you'd be. Fine, this isn't working. It will be a bit tough, but I'll just break your mind. <gasps> Hot? <gasps> Don't hit my little levy, baby! Don't hit my little baby! Rappi, I like you, but don't hit my daughter. <laughs> what? Who are you? Why are you here? How can you be here? Yeah, how is this possible? The Vitan sings below the sea. Rappi stares at the red Nikkei standing before her. <gasps> My queen! In this liminal space between dreams and reality, Rappi feels her eyes will well up with tears. That's not Rappi's first, of course not. I, I never thought I'd see you again. This is really going to be the last time, isn't it? Red Hood nods her head gently and smiles. I... I misunderstood the meaning of what you passed on to me. Now I know. My friend showed me the way. But in my heart, I really wanted to become you. Red Hood gazes warmly at Rappi. I had nothing. I was nothing. I didn't know who I was. But the commander... Anis... Neon... Inua, Emma, Vesti, they all show me who I am. Now I know, even if I may not have a clear picture of who I am, I can still justify my own existence through other people. Lappy! Use the firepower! 
Lappy, where are you? I'm still not entirely sure who I am. But as long as I walk shoulder to shoulder with them, with people who I care about, I think I can find out. Red Hood extends her hand. Rappy hesitates and then extends her own. She knows that this is their final farewell. Please, watch over me. With all that you've given me, I'll lead a life full of meaning. <gasps> and eventually it will be complete! Don't worry, Red Hood will remain in my team forever. Oh! Hand the Samu Commander! She can! Oh, it's a weird 3D animation. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. I understand it's easier to animate, but I definitely prefer a uh, clear 2D animation. Her new 7th door. What? LMB SSR Rappy? She can fly with it too? What is it going on? Yatta! When was the last time in the we know and love? Name all the people she loved that she began a new stage of her life. I don't know. I don't remember. Pfft, nice ass shot for no reason. Man, she's so cool! Please! Rappy, come on. Don't kill Behemoth. Please! Don't kill her. Surely. I'll become the goddess of victory. <gasps> yes, queen! That's... Holy bananas! Yo! Succession! To inherit a legacy and forge your own path. Any chance you could whip a weapon off of me? Something super neato. That's the weapon she said! She wanted a massive weapon with a drill on it. Oh my god! Oh, I remember! She actually made it! Sure, is there anything you have in mind? A drill. I excuse me? A drill. Why a drill? Because it's cool. Fine. So, about the gun, can you do it? Sure thing. I can make it. It might take some time, but I can do it. Awesome. Don't forget, you promise. Small whites. The MVP, as always. Dude, I'm gonna cry. I love Snow White so much. Snow White! I love Snow White so much. Behemoth's pincers shatter into pieces. Rappy doesn't stop and keeps charging. <laughs> so you've evolved as well. Ooh, uh, hold on! Rappy punches straight through Behemoth. Amazing. Behemoth! Levy, run. She's too strong. Behemoth explodes in a burst of black liquid. Leviathan desperately clutches for her core, then dives back into the black pool. She saved the core! She saved the core! She can come back. Just you wait. I'll get you for this! Leviathan rapidly disappears into the black pool. <gasps> Actual new model Rappy! Actual new model Rappy! Man, I could not! I could not be happier! Actual new model SSR Rappy! Let's go! I'm sorry. I'm emotional. I'm a little bit emotional here. Rappy, breathing heavily, looks at the spot where Leviathan disappeared. Also, I prefer this outfit. There's less panty in your face for no reason. <laughs> I think this outfit is way better. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know this is a gooner game. I understand. I like to goon too sometimes, okay? But sometimes the outfits are a bit silly. 
again, I feel like why wear a skirt if the skirt is shorter than a panty? <laughs> so I like this one. Uh, Rappi, breathing heavily, looks at the spot where Leviathan disappeared. She then closes her eyes and proudly proclaims, We won. Rappi, you... When did you get time to change your clothes? Completely transformed. And just when we were at the lowest moment. Actually, it's all a bit cliche. What is this? How did this happen? Incredible. You've done Red Hood proud. Yes. Oh, and the jacket is burning red. Just look right over there. <laughs> I'm much better now. Good. Let's find Cinderella and Grave and head back. Victory is ours. Yo! That was epic! Access denied. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Alright, let's go back. Let, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This truly is our goddess of victory. It truly is. It truly is. This is still pretty sexy silly. She has her bosom out with a funky lingerie top on full display. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's not a big deal. It's like, did you see the new the new Unwa, uh, Unwa's uh, design? It's like, her panty is almost 90% outside of a mini shorts. And a mini shorts is the same size as a panty, but worn lower. It's insane. It's like, why? <laughs> I know why, but it still look a bit goofy, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. Reclamation site 01. We have a little epilogue to the chapter. So, Seven Dwarves acknowledge you as its master, eh? Yes, perhaps due to the parts of Red Hood that are left in me. No, I don't think that's it. If that was the case, it would have reacted long ago. It only revealed its true form because it reacted to the real you. Now you're ready to truly carry on Red Hood's legacy. Not exactly a scientific explanation, but an emotionally satisfying one, perhaps. Not everything in the world can be explained by science. Weren't you a former scientist? Never thought I'd hear you say stuff like that. I used to be, not anymore. I see. Cinderella, you've been looking uncomfortable for a while now. Is something wrong? Have your injured not healed injuries not healed fully? No, it's not that. It's just seeing Rappi gave me a weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh? Is anything wrong with your somatic functions? No, I don't think so. It's just brought back old memories. Anyway, congratulations, you've become even more beautiful. I have you to thank for that. How did you transform, anyway? Yeah, it was a big surprise. Hell yeah, Cravil. To get to the bottom of that, I think I'll need to undergo an examination. Should we stop by the Ark? That's probably a good idea. And not just for my checkup. Now that we've come face to face with the four beasts up on the surface, Vapor's bullets are a necessity. This is still conjecture at this point, but Behemoth's ability to transform may have been the result of the commander's unrefined vapours. Have we still not made contact with Cecile? No, not yet. Then I recommend seeking help from Elysian. We can tell them everything we know about vapours and request assistance. Eden is too far and we're unable to make contact with them. Relying solely on them is far too risky. You're right. All right then. Let's head to the Ark. Um... Our Cinderella and Grave coming with us. The Ark. I'm looking forward to it. As am I. But I think we'll stay here. I presume our presence in the Ark would cause no small amount of issues. I'd like to say it wouldn't, but I can't. Then go without us so you can have peace of mind. We have plenty of things to take care of and off on our end, like placing more mirrors all around the place so I can see myself every 10 feet instead of 20 feet. What are you going to do? I've potentially picked up the trail of an old comrade. 
I intend to look into it. You mean that liquid from the Vitan you mentioned? That's right. Don't worry, I'll keep a low profile. Right now, the most beautiful approach is to be subtle. Okay, we'll be back soon. Sorry. Don't worry. Oh, there is one thing, though. If at all possible, could you perhaps bring a mirror on your way back? Sure. And Anis. Yeah? Make up your mind. Your friend has begun a new chapter in her story. You're capable of doing the same. Alright. Damn. With the AA pillar, we're expecting to be able to wipe out the entire crystal region in one fell swoop. It's far stronger than the ordinary AA pillar, so it should tidy things up in, a, in the area nicely. Um, not to be difficult. Why didn't you use that earlier? And its evolution? Yeah, absolutely. The increase in power was so great that the risk of incurring collateral damage upon impact was too high. Also, the chance of failure was significant due to Leviathan's black liquid and Behemoth's sheer power. The AA pillar is only a viable option now that they are both out of the picture. Lisa Mermaid, yes. Understood. So, the fact that she doesn't think that um, Leviathan is Lisa Mermaid made me think that maybe Leviathan stole the power that Mermaid has, or she got captured, or maybe she. Maybe Leviathan is Lisa Mermaid after being becoming a heretic and she lost her Nikkei memories for some reason. Who knows? But I'm very curious about that. Understood. How is hammering? We finished preparing special brain shelter for her, and she's being stored inside. We've yet to remove the crystals. But her brain waves and other vitals are coming up normal. It's just a matter of time before things improve. Roger that, keep me updated with any new information. Yes, of course. Alright, let's go to the Ark. No, I don't care. Ark time! Inside the elevator bound for the Ark. <sighs> now that you've changed, no one will be, confused you be confusing you for a member of Absolute now. I don't think I'll be going back anyway. Even if you did, we said I would take you back. Frappy! Did you see? See what? Us. Did you see us? Yes, you were amazing. So strong. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Messi is such a cutie pie. You know what? We're going to be more active from here on out. We'll be doing all sorts of missions and spending more time together as a team. We're going to become closer than ever. The files in the mini game give pretty... Yeah, I need to do more of that. You may end up getting jealous. We're going to be a well-oiled machine. We'll be perfect. I won't let you outshine me. <laughs> you don't stand a chance for beating us. I presume the counter will continue exploring the surface. Yes, unless something else comes up. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, I also heard something from Ingrid. It seems they're planning to increase the number of surface exploration teams by a significant margin. Uh, yeah. Suyan too. Apparently she's sending, um... Uh, uni, I mean, Ku, Ku, to the surface with Bihara. <laughs> I still not past that trauma, dude. <laughs> that seemed rather sudden. They're nearly done with the repairs in the Ark, and this first expedition has been quite fruitful. Between the Harmony Cube and the Crystals, a whole bevy of useful materials were discovered. Therefore, the value attached to surface exploration has gone up considerably. I see, that's reassuring. Yo! Congratulations on the Platinum Trophy in Sonic, dude! Okay, congrats, congrats, thank you for the raid, welcome! Are you sure about that? Hmm? They might not silly be joining up with you, Commander. They could be formed into separate teams or something along those lines. So does that make us rivals? <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. I'll keep that in mind. Commander, we're arriving at the Ark soon. Um, Commander. I wanted to ask. Once we get back, is there any chance I can be left to my own devices? Why? There's something I need to take care of. Uh, it might take some time. I may not be done when we have to head back up to the sur up the surface next. So is this you handing in your resi resignation? What are you talking about? Resignation? Of course not. Anyways, uh, is that okay? Is it something that you have to do right now? 
Annie stares intently at Rappi. Rappi meets her gaze and nods reassuringly. Yeah, I have to do it now. I can't allow myself to fall behind. And there it is! For the rest, it will be coming soon. Damn, that was such a good chapter! And I'm so happy. Behemoth and uh, Leviathan are both fine. Both Moth Girl and Levi Chan are alive and well is debatable, but her core has not been destroyed, so I assume we'll see more of her in the future. Anis, hey, we're saying I want an upgrade. Oh, Anis in a B outfit would be amazing. Yeah, for sure, Ruffy, absolutely. Take all the time you need. Anis has been struggling for a long time now, and I think she, she needs to... Uh, she needs to find herself a proper reason to actually leave and look forward to life, you know? Because she she's just, like, letting herself go through the motion and just waiting to die, essentially, at this point. And it's pretty sad. Um, and I really want her to, to be well, right? So I'm looking forward to what happens with her. That might mean that the, fo the, the future chapter won't have Anis in it, right? Because uh, it means that she just said, like, when you go back to the surface, I might not be ready yet, right? So maybe we'll have a chapter or two without her. But I'm definitely looking forward to her return. And I'm super looking forward to SR Rappi. I think that was freaking amazing. I'm so excited. But uh, I think it's going to be a while until we get SR Rappi since they might wait for Anis to get her glow up. Oh, that's true. You think they might do that? Um, also, it kind of feels bad that like Neon, like base Neon obviously is still an SR character. And summon Neon is not good either, so it's like, ah, uh, is Neon not gonna get like a good upgrade either? SSR Rappi, SSR Anis. I would love to see SSR Rappi, Anis, and Neon. Like the leveled up encounter. I'd like to see a side story for Anis. Yes, Char, of course. I forgot they do side story now. They definitely should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be amazing. Anyway, I freaking love this chapter. The past two chapters were amazing. Cinderella, Tupac. I love Cinderella. I love Grave. I think they're both fantastic addition to the encounter team. They're not officially encounter, but they're working with us. At least at the moment. Um, Rappi's struggle was great. Seeing the new um, absolute team was awesome. Uh, working together to, to fight against Behemoth and the Viton was great. I was super scared because I really don't want those two to die. Uh, and now we get some more ties to potentially Little Mermaid. Uh, very exciting stuff. Super, super excited. Behemoth is a cutie. She really is. They're both really cute. Uh, I, I think they're both massive cuties. They're so cute. They're so fun. They're so relatable as well. Um, very humane compared to the other heretics we've seen so far. And I'm looking forward to more. Um, that was fantastic. I really liked it. Yeah, that's that's it. That's kind of my thoughts on those two chapters, and um, I'm I'm so hyped for 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 more stuff in the future, right? Uh, campaign. What does it tell me new here? That would be awesome. I, I would. I think that would be the best way to go about it, Ruffy. I'll uh, just have all three together as the new trio. What the spam is this? Uh, Sina Kaslana is my editor, so he drops, whenever he uploads a video, he also drops the, 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 the link here. That's my official YouTube channel, if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, awesome. For All Tale, let me double check when All Tale Part 2 becomes available. Look at the lady here. That's definitely, definitely an, another lady. Uh, let me see, uh, story 2 is gonna be available on the 6th, so that's what I thought, it's in 2 days. Um, so I'll definitely stream that in 2 days. I'm truly sorry, you're fine, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> uh, so there we go, we'll be playing more Nikkei on stream when the story part 2 is gonna be available. And uh, so for three days when it's out, I'll be playing it. I'll be streaming it three days in a row. And that's going to be super exciting. Damn, that was so good. That was so good. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This is going to be on YouTube. So do let me know in the comments what you thought of the story. Let me know what your speculations are for the future. What has you the most excited. Like, subscribe, all the good good. And don't forget to catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Everyone here is super handsome, super smart. And you could be too if you join us. Cheers!